हेलो वीवर्स एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय चैनल एंड टुडे आई एम डिलाइटेड टू शेयर एन एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी रेसिपी द वर्ल्ड फेमस हैदराबादी हलीम नाउ यू कैन जस्ट मेक एंड एंजॉय अट योर होम द एग्जैक्ट फ्लेवर्स ऑफ दिस ऑथेंटिक एंड एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी रेसिपी You can follow my steps and enjoy the original taste of Halim at home. So, without wasting time, let's just have a quick look on this extraordinary dish. Let's take two cups of broken wheat or dalia, which is available in almost all supermarkets. few people get sambar rava instead of it please don't get sambar rava ask broken wheat or dalia let's add some pulses like urad dal 2 tablespoon chana dal 2 tablespoon moong dal 2 tablespoon and 2 tablespoon of basmati rice if you have barley then you can add 2 tablespoon of barley or oats also you can add but i am only adding this much of pulses let's wash it nicely and drain the water and replace it with new water let's soak this for minimum 4 hours now after 4 hours let's transfer this wheat into a pressure cooker and i add around 1 and 1/2 liter of water that is 6 glasses of water now let's mix it let's add some salt around 1/2 spoon of salt and around 1/2 spoon of refined oil refined oil helps in fastening the cooking process now let's put the whistle and cook it for around 9 8 to 9 whistles in medium flame By the time our wheat is cooking, let's make other preparations. Let's take some whole garam masalas like two three cinnamon, one star anise, four to five cloves, two bay leaves, half, half a spoon of whole black pepper, one and half spoon of shazira, six to seven whole cardamoms, and one Marathi mug. Out of these spices, only we are going to remove the bay leaves, and the rest of the spices we are going to blend in a mixer jar. Let's make a powder out of it, so that we can add this powder later into our halim. This is the actual garam masala powder, which is going to give the magical flavor in our halim. Now it's done. This is the time we have to marinate our chicken. 1 kg of chicken pieces nicely washed some bone pieces and some boneless pieces i have taken first let's add the freshly grinded garam masala powder this is the masala which is going to create wonders in our halim now adding 4 to 5 tablespoons of yogurt curd now let's add around 2 to 3 tablespoons of freshly grinded ginger garlic paste let's add some garam masala powder some zeera powder half a spoon and half a spoon of turmeric powder and one full tablespoon of one or one and half teaspoon of uh, kashmiri red chili powder and half a spoon of coriander powder and salt as per the taste now let's mix all the ingredients well and we are going to marinate this chicken for at least half an hour to 40 minutes let's cover it and keep it for half an hour now let's take five large onions and chop them these onions we are going to deep fry until crispy and brown the flame is in high now within 10 minutes the onions are they have turned 
brown and crispy. Now let's transfer it into a tissue paper and spread it. Now let's make the gravy for Haleem. Let's add around 100 grams of pure ghee. 100 to 150 grams we can add. And same amount 150 grams of refined oil. Let's add the bay leaves now to the hot oil. Let's add the marinated chicken pieces now. While adding itself you will feel uh, an extraordinary flavor. The flavors of all the spices and masalas we have added in the chicken. Now let's give a mix. If you add more wheat and less halim then the taste will not be as uh, the original recipe. So for 2 cups of broken wheat, 1 full kg of chicken I have used here. 4 to 5 green chilies let's add at this point and some mint leaves and some coriander leaves. And now add half of the quantity of the fried onion which we kept separately. Just give a good mix. Now you can see that the oil is oozing out of the gravy but still our chicken has to be cooked. So I have added only half a glass of water to it and let's cover it and cook for 10 minutes in medium flame. Let's check our wheat after 10 vessels. Now the pressure I have released and opened it. It's very well cooked now. You can see how nicely it's cooked. Let's allow it to cool down for some time. By the time, let's check our chicken. It's almost 80% done now. What we have to do at this point is, let's remove all the chicken pieces in a separate container. We are going to separate the flesh of the chicken from the bones. In this way, we have to separate the boneless chicken from the bones. Now we are going to blend our wheat which we cooked now in pressure cooker. It's better to completely cool it down and blend it. I had uh, less time so I am blending in this way. I have added only little water before blending. See this is the consistency we actually want for our halim. Let's check our gravy now. The gravy is cooking in low flame. Now let's add our blended wheat. The whole wheat we can add now. Give a mix. You can see that how beautiful the color has turned out. Let's add some one more glass of water I have added to it. Let's add our shredded chicken pieces. This is the 1 kg of chicken which I have shredded, I have separated from the bones. Let's add them and mix it well. The flame should be in very low at this point. The rest of the fried onion, let's add now. Let's add some mint and coriander leaves and one full lemon juice. Give a mix from the bottom. Add some ghee around 
वन टू टू टेबल स्पून यू कैन एड एट दिस पॉइंट प्योर घी मिक्स इट वेल एंड नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी कुक इन लो फ्लेम फॉर हाफ एन आवर मोर हलीम ऑलवेज टेस्ट एक्सेलेंट इन स्लो कुकिंग सो वी शुड कुक इट फर्दर इन लो फ्लेम फॉर अराउंड हाफ एन आवर नाउ हाफ एन आवर इज पास जवे एंड आवर एग्जॉटिक ओरिजिनल हलीम इज रेडी टू बी एंजॉयड नाउ this haleem if you want to enjoy in restaurants it will be very expensive so you can very easily make it at home yes i know it's little bit time consuming but the final result will be just excellent and you will feel the original taste of haleem at home itself let's serve it with some more fried onion some more mint and coriander leaves some fried cashew nuts and some ghee finally we have to add before serving hope today's recipe of hyderabadi chicken haleem will be useful for you i will see you soon in my next video with one more interesting recipe so keep supporting our channel and please subscribe it and thank you so much for watching it